Hey, it's your boy, Sir Sammy, Buffer Free Gamer, back with a new GTA 5 video online. I'm going to be showing you if if it's worth buying the casino penthouse. It is, and it isn't. Um, there's some good things about it, and there's some good, bad things about it. But I'm going to be going over most, most of the good things about the, the casino penthouse. First things first. I'm going to be showing you around and then I'm going to be showing you the upgrades. Um, the only trouble is, um, I can't actually show you the price. <laughs> but to have just have the basic of the uh, penthouse, it's worth about 1,500,000, something like that. Okay, so this is the bedroom. This is pretty much what you get, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much you have to upgrade. So, like, um, you know, you get a, um, where you can change your clothes, things like that. Um, then you've got a um, extra room there. All this I'm showing you is you you have to buy. You have to do the upgrade. This, this is how you get to the roof and this is the exit to the casino or your garage anything like that or the roof whatever and then moving on um, I then got my um, office where I sit down sit down with my friends and stuff okay and then you've got like a big lounge bit here um, then I've got my office you also have to buy this as well um, then you've got the um, safe now with the chips and everything, the max I think you can have is 12 million, something like that. Oh, I believe anyway. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't, they might have upgraded it. And then this is this one is the gun one. So this is where you customize your loadout loadout for your um, free run. It doesn't actually affect um, doing missions and things like that, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so yeah, that's the that's that and then moving on um, I've got um, a theatre why not <laughs> and then moving on uh, this is the um, private dealer now this is actually worth getting anything the other stuff is not really worth getting it is just you know just upgrading sort of stuff but the private dealer is actually worth getting and also it, in a way it is actually worth having the penthouse um, as first because then what you what it does is you become a VIP in the casino so you can now play the high-end tables which the max you can um, have is uh, to play is 50,000 okay so then obviously you can actually change I don't know if it's on poker uh, blackjack 21 um, but you can actually change it to free car poker which is the green table or the purple table it's I don't know I don't know why it goes green or purple I don't know it's purple at the moment uh, but um, yeah and obviously you can just change it back as much as you want it doesn't really matter okay that's pretty much it for that that's, that's the private dealer and then uh, down here, I've got my own um, barber. There he is, and I've got a spa as well. This is all part of the an upgrade as well, and all, all this is around here as well. It's part of an upgrade as well. This is like the bar sort of bit where you can have parties and stuff. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the penthouse. So yeah, this is pretty much all the upgrades. So. Go to, go to your phone, go to the internet, go to the Diamond, Diamond Casino um, Resort, okay, and then you go to the penthouse. Now, there will well, there will be a um, other prices along here, so you click begin. 
um, but I can't actually show you the prices because I've actually upgraded everything which is a bit of a shame because I was wondering um, how I was going to do this video but I'm just going to go along with it anyway um, so you buy the you can actually buy the penthouse for 1,500,000 something like that um, to start with that's pretty much like a start, like a start price okay and then obviously it's more expensive because it includes these as well um, which uh, all this costs uh, money but this is the private dealer so uh, for the start off all you get is the master uh, penthouse where you sleep okay that's pretty much all you get then obviously the lounge the um, theater then the spa, and then the part of the party sort of bar and bit, and then you've got the private dealer bit, and then you've got the office, then you've got the extra bedrooms, and then you've got the garage. Well, obviously with the garage, you're gonna you're gonna want a garage to store some of your vehicles. As well, then you can now you can obviously change the colours. Well, I've got this one. And obviously as well, you can change the patterns. Obviously, they vary in different prices. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, um, to uh, obviously get all this, it's all extra. You roughly need about three million, something like that, or maybe a little bit more. Um, to get it fully upgraded, I mean, you don't have to, you know, I mean, you don't have to fully upgrade it. The only things I would buy is the garage and the um, private dealer for now. You know, if you were starting out, you, you know, you, you had quite a bit of money saved up. Um, yeah, I would go, obviously, you get the master penthouse already, you get the bedroom for yourself then obviously the garage is extra and then obviously the private area is extra but that's pretty much what I would go for if I was starting out and getting the penthouse um, so yeah uh, so moving on so if we went downstairs so this so if you, when you do get the penthouse or you already have the penthouse you can actually put it on your spawn location so this is pretty much where you spawn like all the time so this is this is a lot easier for when you do the lucky wheel or when you do your um, chips anything like that okay so Obviously, everyone knows wherever this is. This is the casino bit. Um, but as um, we got a penthouse, we are also a VIP as well. Okay, so that's the only way you get to be a VIP, and you get bonus monies here and all that sort of stuff. Um, but because we are a, we own a penthouse, we also have a VIP, so we can go to the VIP bit like in here okay if you're not you don't you you, you can't get in you, you can't you can't get in um, yeah so then moving on so this is how I started out I, I just had the penthouse I just bought the penthouse and that was it and then I started um, playing these tables here because these are the high-end limit tables so you can bet up to 50,000 uh, obviously you got roulette and you got uh, this is free car poker and then you got black shop you got um, blackjack over here and then obviously these green tables are the low tables so they don't pay out very well than like the high limit tables which are a lot better but to play these you need to be a VIP which is you have to buy the penthouse which is also a bit of a bonus of having the penthouse that's what I mean is Sort of worth having a penthouse so it sort of isn't um, so yeah I think that's pretty much it I think it's all pretty much all covered 
I don't think there is anything else to be honest. Um, I hope you found this video helpful if it's worth buying a penthouse. It is and it isn't. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, it's tied up to you. If you've got that bit of money put away, um, I would buy a penthouse anyway. I wouldn't buy like a yacht. It's not worth buying a yacht. Seriously. Okay, so hope you found this helpful and I will see you next time in another video. Bye!